You might be wondering, whoa. <laughs> or you might. Latent class analysis, or LCA, is a methodological technique that allows us to identify hidden population subgroups. These subgroups are unique from each other, but individuals within a subgroup are similar to each other. LCA can be useful when you're interested in complex constructs that have multiple facets, requiring the measurement of multiple behaviors. For example, we might think about whether or not an individual is engaging in healthy behavior. And we might start off by thinking about smoking. If an individual smokes, we might think of them as being unhealthy. And if an individual does not smoke, we might think of them as being healthy. However, smoking is not the only dimension of healthy behavior. We might want to think about smoking in addition to drinking behavior, other drug use, risky sexual behavior, quality of sleep, high levels of stress, quality of diet, and amount of exercise. LCA can be used to help us understand how multiple characteristics, behaviors, or risks interact within individuals. Let's discuss a published example that was worked on by my colleagues here at the Methodology Center at Penn State. In this example, they examined children who were in kindergarten that were experiencing risk factors at different ecological levels. Children might have been experiencing risk factors at the individual level, including cognitive problems or social or behavioral problems. These children were also living within families, and the families might have been experiencing different risk factors, such as a single parent household and a history of parental problems with attention. These families existed within communities, and children may have been experiencing risk factors at the community level as well, including things like poor neighborhood quality or poor classroom safety. When LCA was applied to these data, four classes were identified. Two of the classes were characterized by two-parent households, and two of the classes were characterized by single-parent households. If we think for a second, just about the two classes with two parent households. One of them had children who were experiencing low levels of risk across all of those ecological levels. And the other class was experiencing multi-level risk, meaning that they were experiencing risks at the individual, family, and community levels. In comparison, the two classes that were characterized by single parent households, one of them were also experiencing a parental history of attention problems, and the other was experiencing multi-level multi risk with risk factors at the individual, family, and community levels. My collaborators went even further to examine race and ethnicity differences in subgroup membership, and then went on to link subgroup membership to later outcomes at grade five, including externalizing problems and academic achievement. You might be wondering how latent class analysis is different from factor analysis. Both LCA and factor analysis are latent variable models. In factor analysis, we conceptualize the latent class variable as being continuous and we assess it with continuous indicators. In contrast, in LCA, we conceptualize the latent variable as being categorical and we assess it with categorical indicators. Factor analysis we might consider to be a variable-oriented approach because we're interested in patterns of responses across indicators and how indicators work together to assess the latent construct. LCA we might think of as being a person-centered approach because we're interested in within individual patterns of responding across indicators to identify the subgroup to which a person belongs. If you're interested in reading more about LCA, two citations are appearing on the screen and are also available in the description of this video below. The first citation is a chapter in the Handbook of Psychology that focuses on an introduction to LCA. The second is a citation for the article that we discussed earlier in this video on childhood risk. 
I hope that that gives you an idea of what LCA is and how it might be useful in your own research.